Uh, okay, right, everyone, here is another photo critique. This one is for Colin Pedersen. Pedersen. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to do this before I have to go pick up Kim from the airport. Uh, let's see, first photo is here. Okay, um, oh, what's that? Uh, it's a snowy day. Okay, this is a shot. It's a snowy day. Uh, it doesn't snow much here, but where I live, um, unfortunately, I did not have time to go down and take pictures in different places when I arrived at home. It was all melted. Oh, boo. Uh, 1 125th of a second. I saw 120 millimetres. Okay, let's see if we can just see that shot. Uh, okay, it's a shot of uh, just kind of looking out a window, down at some trees, some snow falling down. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything too interesting in this one. Uh, the darks are very dark. You're not really seeing much detail in there. Uh, it really does just look like a shot that you've taken out of a window. I've not seen any kind of like creativity uh, used in this. It is just some snow out of a window. There's not like if maybe there's a person walking along. You know, if there's a person down here walking, looking really somber in the snow, then that would be maybe a like an object of interest. But at the moment, uh, it's just a it's just a shot. It's just a, a snapshot. Uh, it's not really a photograph. Okay, next one. Okay, this next one you've called is Contemplate. Uh, this is a shot of your little brother leaning against a bridge. Uh, I thought it was a good picture I took. I made him think that he was staring off into the distance uh, at a fountain looking about something. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that looks nice. Again, a very small image. Um, yeah, it's just him kind of there looking away. Exposure-wise, it's good. You've got a lot of interesting detail in the, in the sky, but... Uh, nah. It's just not really that interesting. Oh, what I am seeing though is there's some people here. Now that that's where the image could have become a bit more interesting if it'd be like the kid wasn't able to go and play with the kids over there and wanted to do. But it, at the moment, it really it kind of looks like it's just some kid leaning against the fence that you just come along and taken a photo of. Um, so how can we make that better? I think this is like it's a beautiful scenery. It's a, it's a nice place. Get a portrait shot, get a shot of him looking at you or something, that'd be good. Uh, also, the blues are kind of going a little bit over the top uh, around here. Uh, the sky is very, very uber blue. Uh, Saturation is all very pumped up. The greens are super green uh, and the backs of his ears are pretty much red. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just another photo. Um, just another kind of snapshot there. Okay, uh, let's see your next one. Okay, here's a shot of, uh, it's another one of your little brother. This one is, let's see, what does it say here? Uh, one tenth of a second, ISO 1600. Um, he was in a room, other kids were running around. Okay, that's now. This is where you're getting a bit more interesting. Um, okay, so here, him standing totally still. I don't know where this is. This is like some science museum kind of place where kids run around and make shadows on the floor or something, and the fact that these kids are totally, or that one's totally blur, is cool. Um, him just, uh, you're, I'm guessing this is your brother here, looking down the way. Um, yeah, it just kind of looks a bit sad, a bit sad and lonely. That'd be quite cool if he was like, crossed arms facing straight towards the camera, almost like a bit of a Damien style um, exorcist or whatever. Uh, and then my kid's running around mental, that'd be quite cool. Uh, I'd like that. So again, yeah, um, a very small image. I can't really see all that much detail about it. Um, but I'm also not really understanding where it is. It looks like a weird building um, kind of thing. This is something that it could be like out of a sci-fi film. If you took out this bit, or if, if that wasn't there and stuff, it would look quite interesting. It'd be a bit like the, uh, what's the film where they'll have guns? Equilibrium. It looks a bit like that. It's quite cool. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, again, uh, shutter speed, it looks like you've done well and you've kept your your um, things, your subject in sharpness. That's good. Okay, next one. Okay, here's a shot of a leaf and it's uh, with a frozen bit of water on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That is a uh, object of interest. The background has got some weird kind of bokeh going on there. I don't know what le what lens were you using? Does it say um, fifty five millimeters? Okay, see that that with the kind of cheaper lenses, you get weird distracting bokeh in the background. So you, you don't really. This is where having a macro lens would be really good. If you could get really right up close on this frozen droplet, that would be really sweet. Uh, but at the moment, it's just kind of something which is almost of interest, but is taken away by everything in the background. Uh, this is another one where maybe 
uh, a, a punchier bit of the colours might be quite good. Certainly of the reds, maybe calm down the greens, but pump up the reds and the oranges, that'd be quite good, and the purples, but the greens, a bit too distracting here. Okay, next one. Okay, this one is uh, a bit of brick, bit of wall, um, okay. Uh, what is this? Mossy, taken on the same chilly day, um, uh, 80mm out of 200, 1 25th of a second. Okay, that's pretty nice and sharp for a 25th of a second. Um, Colour-wise, composition, yeah, it's kind of leading off something, but it's it's not really going anywhere. This would be quite cool if that was the object of interest. If there's something here, it needs something for me to actually go, oh, wow, that's interesting. Like, if there is a snail, or if there was, like, something there. At the moment, it's just a tiny little bit of moss, which isn't interesting because it's the same as the rest of the moss all over the place. Yeah, find it, all, or even if you had a massive spider, that'd be good. A big spider or a snail there uh, and get that into a nice exposure. That'd be quite cool. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, there's just nothing interesting in the image. You need to give me something interesting, a point of focus, thing to grab my attention in the image. Uh, that'd be good. So yeah, uh, so if we go through them all again, mostly needs a point of interest. Contemplation, what was it? Yeah, contemplate uh, needs to really bring my attention into it again. Uh, and the other ones, uh, the water droplet one, get a macro. Best one really was the black and white one, raise it and down, and the one out the window that really was just another shot. Um, so yeah, that's that. I just say I'd like to take more pictures, but seeing as I'm not even old enough to have a driver's license yet. I will have to make do with what I can. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, cool. What is it? Just keep on practicing. Just keep getting the shots. Go out, take millions and millions and millions and millions of photos. You've got a Sony Alpha uh, 230 and a kit lens. Okay, that's that's fine. You can still take amazing shots. I'd always say get flash or use a torch. What to do if you want to do some fun stuff is get a tripod and um, or even just a place where you can keep the camera very still and start doing stuff like light painting. Get some torches, get some bike lights, get some helmet lights or whatever and start running around in the garden or something like that um, and get shots of that or, or get them on a, on a string and spin it round and round and round in circles as you spin round they get this giant orb in the garden. That'd be really cool. Do something like that. Okay, hope that helps. Bye-bye.